going to show how to create app service in Azure within the 10 minutes. So first log in the Azure portal and you must have the valid subscriptions. You can see here the app service. If it is not there in your case, go to all services and type app service. You will get the app service here. app service here and here you create the new app service so you will get one wizard from there you can create the new app service choose any existing resource group i have already created one resource group app service and give the name suppose i am giving the name Vinod Suman so this would be my uh, URL Vinod Suman dot Azure website dot net. <coughs> uh, keep it the code. I will use the Java 8 and application server Tomcat 8.5. That's it. No need to change anything. A view then create it. Let it be create and now I'm showing where is the code for this app service. So uh, please visit this uh, path. So in this repository is being boot Visual Studio code. I have given the code already and I have created the wall file and wall file I kept inside the web apps. So this is the wall file and I kept inside the web app because I need the web app so you have to download this for the web app and keep in your local system and that's it now come back to the azure let it be create and you will okay now it's up so now if you see this is uh, created Vinod Suman app in Azure and this is the path right the URL if you hit on the URL Azure by default gives you an HTML page and that HTML page you can uh, see here so there are the two way either you can create one HTML page and keep in folder I will tell you or you can create the complete wall file if you have some uh, uh, multiple web pages and here there you want to move navigate the page then you should go for the wall file and how how I have created this wall file uh, I have on videos uh, um, read that videos and that I have explained everything I will show that videos also at the last so if you go to the website development tool SSH go here meanwhile you see this page has been come so by this is the static HTML page that is uh, given by Azure by default with the app service so you can replace this page right okay I was saying that you go the SSH so now this is connected now if you do the ls go to the site folder and here one more folder is there and here if you see you can see that HTML page that HTML sorry it is okay it didn't came oh sorry CD and then and if you see this is the HTML page you are seeing here so if you want to add the more HTML page you have to keep it here or if you have the wall file you have to keep it here so how you will keep this wall file here so for that you need the uh, any uh, FTP client I'm using the 5G so how to connect the 5G to upload your wall file or the HTML page for that you come here go to the over, overview and that path is already there here 
and you can see that my name is already came here but in your case it is might be empty how you create the user to upload the file to the FTP so for that you have to come the dev requirement center then come here FTP credential and here see I have given the binode so you can change it and you have to give the path uh, password here so let me give password and here you have to click on the save button yeah. so you will get one message over here yeah it's saying that the updating the username password successfully updated now you go to the offer view and this you you copy this path ftps not ftp ftps because all the setting was the ftps quick it you copy the path go to the bug jira in host paste it again came here copy this user information come here paste it and put the password same password what i put there and hit hit the quick connect you can see the progress over here okay because this is the certificate exchange you can see the message connection is being established once it is connected you will get or see here this is connected here so the same path i was showing through the uh, sss connectivity here what you have to do this is the web app same web app what i show what i download from the my github and if you see inside uh, the root dot wi-fi is there okay so you have to copy this complete folder here inside the web root so now copy is being there transferring start and once it is done even you can verify here also right now if you see we have only now see this folder which has been created here right? it was not there at that time because we are transferring to the bug file here so we have to wait for this 100 percent now if you see this is 99 percent not 100 percent means everything is uploaded so if you want to confirm you can see here also ls go to the and here you will see the root dot y okay now came here and you have to restart because we upload the new wi-fi that's it we done now if you click this url you will get your own page so this time you will not get this page but you will get the your own page here wait first time it will take me take the time see here it came but for me uh, it took almost five minutes time on the first time it will take so this is your home page and uh, now you do successfully deploy the wi-fi why i was talking about this video uh, Mm. app service here this video see here i have explained everything how to create that wi-fi and what is the app service in detail you can see in this video so i have explained everything in this youtube video you can
when you get the time please watch this video now come back here yeah see now if you give the us it will give the us so it's more functionality i have add japan Canada. So, and if you want to go to the home page, then this is the home page. That's it all about this video. Uh, thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. A lot of effort is going behind to create so many videos. Thank you very much.